Hello, Shreveport, Bossier. Let's make a difference today. Are you thinking of moving to Bossier City? In today's video, we're going to look at the pros and cons of Provident Oaks subdivision in East Bossier. So, let's go! All right, let's get in our map and to see some things uh, about the pros and cons of Provident Oaks subdivision. Uh, first of all, beautiful, beautiful homes. And if, uh, you know, as, as you've seen in, in the video previous to this, the tour, that it was just gorgeous. And they're building more and more. It's an up and coming. Uh, it's going to be a much larger neighborhood and there's, because there's so many lots available. But it's off of Monica Lot Road, which is off of Swan Lake Road. So you would come in here on Monica Lot and then turn in on the uh, entrance area here. And so all these homes back in here, just it's just little tucked away uh, space uh, there that uh, for some homes. And I mean, each one is a showstopper. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and remember, they they range anywhere from six hundred thousand on up to uh, close to a million dollars. So you know, a wide range of homes, which because of the square footage, twenty six hundred on up to thirty eight hundred, thirty nine hundred. So you know, a good no range of uh, square footage there, and that's what makes the price difference. Uh, what it is now. Uh, the location being off of Swan Lake Road and, and Tiburon is right behind it, um, you know, makes it for a great location because East Bossier is, is a good place, just as really just as good as, as North Bossier. It's just that North Bossier just keeps on going, but it, it has hit its, its stop in that, you know, Benton starts where now Bossier has come up to the Benton line. But East Bossier is is now growing out. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's a, a good place to get in now because then the uh, equity is going to build in the next coming years in that area. Now, let's take a look at the schools uh, that uh, your children would go to. Uh, here. So uh, let me switch spots. All right. So the elementary school is going to be um, W.T. Lewis, because, I mean, you could walk to school as close as it is. Uh, and that's what they have us doing, you know, is take uh, half a mile. Uh, so, uh, you know, you're not having to walk on Monica lot uh, because it's close enough that uh, you know, you would you, you would still have to drive your children to school, drop them off, whatever. Uh, but it, it's like right there. So uh, not uh, far at all. WT is an excellent school uh, and uh, it's it's a no brainer. I mean, it's a great, great location. Now, the. Uh, Middle school is going to be Cope Middle School, and it's six minutes, two and a half miles. So you come out, come over to Swan Lake Road and come straight down and cut across there on Shed, and you're right there. Not far at all. Uh, and another great school. Uh, th this area right in here is a, is, is a good school district uh, flow from elementary to middle and now to high school. So the high school is going to be Airline High School. And so you're going to come out and it's seven minutes away, three and a half miles. So everything is really close. You're going to come down and hit 220 and then hit uh, Airline Drive. And then Air Airline High School is right here behind Three great schools uh, for your kids uh, for Provident Oak subdivision. Now, let's look at uh, if you're here for Barksdale Air Force Base. It's going to be a 17-minute drive, seven miles. Uh, so you come out and you hit uh, Swan Lake Road, and then you come down and hit... Um, Looks like uh, 220 to have us coming down and then 
uh, take Airline Drive and come down and then hit Barksdale and you're right there. So um, not far at all if you're here for the base. And, and let me say uh, that we're so glad, uh, have such gratitude and thankfulness within our hearts for those of you that are here because of Barksdale and w- your service and your sacrifice, your family's sacrifice, we recognize and we are thankful to you and grateful that, you know, we feel safe and we feel that we've been protected because of your time in the service and the military uh, of our nation being the strongest, we feel like, in, in the entire world. And so we're grateful. And uh, and and I believe this community, the shreveport Bozier community, embraces the Barksdale families and uh, and shows you, hopefully, that we care and that we know how important your sacrifice is. All right. Now, if you have need to go to the Shreveport Regional Airport, it's going to be a 19-minute drive, six, about 17 miles. And so the beautiful thing is you can hit 220, and, I mean, you have no traffic and no lights, and you then hit 20 and come back on Muck House, and you're right there at the airport. So, uh, I mean, a straight shot right there uh, to for it to be a, such – a great neighborhood. It's tucked away, but it's not so far off the beaten path that, you know, it takes you a while to get to the path and then get to the road and get to the place where you want to go. It's not that at all. It is tucked away, but then it's close enough that you can get back on uh, the main road and get to where you need to be in, in no time at all. All right. So um, now if you work in downtown Shreveport, then it's going to basically be a 14 minute drive each day, eight and a half miles. And, uh, basically you're going to, you know, take Swan Lake and come down, uh, to, uh, 20 and then come across over and go into downtown Shreveport, uh, from 20. Uh, not far at all. 14 minutes, uh, you know, you really, uh, will, be, you know, be there before you know it. And our our morning traffic is not real, real heavy. You know, I mean, you know, naturally, everybody trying to go to the same place at the same time, it's going to get a little bit uh, uh, back, backed up a little bit. But but for the most part, you know, it it it's not like a, a Dallas or a uh, you know Atlanta or some of those larger towns like that 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 you know you're just sitting and waiting. Uh, on the interstate with nowhere to go because you know it's not moving it's not it's so much like that here uh we have a little bit of it at certain times but uh for the most part you can flow and go where you need to go uh when you need to go all right now uh so th- that's all our our major points of of where everything is located in relation to uh, Provident Oaks. Uh, the beautiful thing about being in East Street, East, East Bossier is the fact that you are not far from Louisiana Downs, uh, which has horse racing and casino, uh, but then also uh, Silver Star, which is probably one of the uh, major restaurants that we have here locally. Uh, and and all that, that it's just excellent barbecue and uh, great food. And then Bozier Community College. We have several colleges in our area, Centenary College, and then there's Southern University uh, and uh, LSU, Shreveport uh, is uh, excellent. All those are excellent schools. And, uh, but we, we love our seafood and our barbecue, but we also have, I'd like for you to take note of this field of dreams is a, is close by uh, to Provident Oaks that uh, is a great uh, playground area for the children and it, uh, handicap accessible. Uh, and then we also have Party Central, which was uh, a great uh, putt-putt and go-karts and uh, bumper cars and all that kind of fun stuff. And then we've got the Altitude Trampoline Park, 
My grandkids love that place. They love jumping. They got where they can go 90 miles an hour across there and, uh, and they just have a good, good time. So the Tinsley Athletic Complex is a great location for sports, uh, for uh, just if you want, you know, not uh, if you just want to be part of a, a team just, you know, for fun, not necessarily AAU type things and and uh, and all, but just, you know, re- recreational type uh, playing uh, then the Tinsley Athletic Area is well equipped for soccer, softball, f- baseball, things like that. Uh, nationally, we have our WalMarts, we have Home Depot, Chick Fil A, Sam's Club, Target. You know, we have all those kinds of things. We have them all, and uh, just typical uh, uh, things that most towns have, you know, uh, uh, you know, people think, oh, we're going to Bossier, we're going to Shreveport, nothing's there. Well, yes, there is. There's there's a lot of things, you know, we're not over here, you know, suffering because we don't have any, you know, anything uh, to do or go to the uh, horseshoe. You know, nationally, we have, uh, you know, we're, we're known for our, our the casinos uh, over in this area, Sam's Town and the market. Margaritaville, and then, but Louisiana Boardwalk is is a, a fun place. Outlet stores and all, and uh, it's good shopping. Uh, so you know, if if you've got family that wants to come in, you know, they can you know shop and uh, uh, see several wonderful things downtown. We have an aquarium that's beautiful and uh, really nice. Uh, we've got the Sh- Shreveport Municipal Auditorium where. Uh, you know, uh, several stars, all the uh, country stars and all uh, started there. Elvis was there and, and all. I don't know if y'all know him or not, but uh, I know you do. So anyway, joking aside. All right. And then, you know, naturally the base over here. But but, you know, we've got all kinds of different uh, things available that will cause you to uh enjoy staying in East Bosher and all. And so uh once again I believe that Provident Oak Oaks would be a great subdivision for you to put on your list. Whether you are moving in nine days or ninety days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Shreveport, Bossier City. From my heart to your home.